Hello everyone. This is the third video of the AWS CLI tutorial series. In the first video, I had explained what AWS CLI is and what it is used for. And in the second video, I had explained you how to set up AWS CLI in your local machine and start running from your uh, AWS CLI commands from your local machine. Okay, so in this video, we are going to do some hands on and run some AWS CLI commands and see how it works. Okay, so if you don't have the setup to run the AWS CLI commands from your local machine, you can check out my previous video and uh, set it up. Or if you don't want to run it from your local, you can also use this AWS Cloud Shell, which is over here. You can click on this and it will open a shell uh, for you and you can run the same commands from there as well. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so for the demo purposes, we are going to use AWS S3 uh, service and uh, run some commands on S3 service like uh, creating buckets, copying files, and you know deleting files and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So firstly, like I mean, uh, you can just Google for AWS CLI S3 to just uh, go through the AWS CLI documentation and see what are the commands that are available for uh, AWS S3 service. Okay, so if you see the documentation, it uh, basically gives explanations of all the commands that are available and how to use those commands. Okay, and let's see now how to use these commands. The first thing we'll try to do is we'll try to create an S3 bucket. So let me show you my S3 console. So I don't have any S3 buckets in my account as of now. Let's try to create some buckets using CLI. Okay, so I don't have any buckets. So to create the bucket, uh, the command is MB make bucket. Let's see how to use this command. And if you see, these are all the parameters that you can pass to this uh, command. Uh, again, these are all optional. We are not going to use all of those. So this is a, like I a mean, simple command to create a bucket, AWS S3 MB uh, and the bucket name. So for any AWS CLI command, this is going to be our standard syntax. AWS and then the name of the service and the command and then the parameters uh, for that command. So if you are running any command on EC2 service, let's say it will be AWS EC2 and then like create instance or something like that and then parameters for that uh, command. Okay, so let's just copy this command and modify this a bit. Okay, so I'm going to create a bucket called AWS CLI demo bucket one. Okay, let's see if this command works. Just going to paste this command then just wait for the response okay so it says it is done now let's see if it has created the bucket okay so it has created the bucket let's try to create another bucket actually um, just for like i mean we would need this for some demo purposes to copy files in between the buckets and things like that so let's create a second bucket Okay, so the second bucket is created as well. If you see, uh, both my buckets got created in US West 2 region because that's my default region that I have set up uh, in CLI. So if you want to specify a region, for example, you can just specify like this region and then you can name like US East 1 or something like that. Okay. Okay, so now that we have created the buckets, let's let's try to copy some files to this bucket. Okay, so for copying the files, what is the command? If you check here, there is a CP command available, which is for copy. And these are all optional parameters again. And if you just get the syntax, like I mean the basic syntax, this is a syntax. Okay, so AWS S3 CP, the source, and then the destination. Let's copy this command. Okay, so this is our source, and then this is our destination. Let's actually, so I'm going to copy this test file into my bucket. So I'm going to copy this path and this is the file that I have is test, test file.txt and where do I want to copy it? I'll copy it into this uh, bucket that we just created. Okay, and you can call it like I mean anything. So if you if I give this as test2.txt, this file will uh, cop get copied as this with this name. Okay, if I don't specify any name, it will just co get copied with the same name. Okay, so I can just run this command. So if you want to copy it into a particular uh, folder, let's say you can call it like I mean you can specify that here. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, leave that. Let us. Okay, then do Control C, copy, run this command. wait for the, so it says upload is done let's see if that file is uploaded to my bucket 
okay so that file has been uploaded into my bucket okay so that's how you copy files from your local to s3 you can also copy this files like i mean from one bucket to another as well so for that like i mean a source will be the bucket one and the target will be bucket two so if you see this is um instead of this my source will now become bucket one and then i will copy this file into bucket two but i don't want to copy it into directly into bucket so i'll let's say folder one we can create and then let's copy it. let's see how it let's copy it. okay okay so it says copy is done so now let's go to bucket two and see okay so the folder one is created and inside that folder the file is copied okay so this is how you use a copy command to basically copy files from local or from one s3 bucket to into another okay so that's the use of copy command so let's try and see what other commands are available and uh, try to play around with them so there is ls of course so we can just try to list the uh, you know list the files that are present in a particular bucket so if i do aws s3 ls so if i just do aws s3 ls it gives it gives me the list of buckets that are present and if i want to see uh, like let's say files inside a particular bucket i need to give aws uh, the same and then the bucket name AWS CLI demo bucket 2 let's say okay so it is giving us like it doesn't give us like uh, the, it only gives us the first level of uh, folders that are available okay if you want to like uh, get to just give iphone iphone recursive basically use a list of all the files that are present so if you see it's going like inside the folder and listing all the files okay so that's what aws s3 ls does so there are other like i mean uh, commands as well like i mean move so move basically moves the file instead of copying so that's the difference between copy and move and uh, you can of course pre-sign an url and then this rb is for remove bucket and rm is to basically remove the files and sync is to basically sync uh, basically like two uh, paths like oh, there is if you have like one working directory and if you want to like sync this uh, directory structure with the bucket you can use sync okay website is for basically static s3 website hosting so yeah you can just go through this uh, documentation and like i mean uh, this is basically like very easy to use documentation you can just uh, go through this and find an appropriate uh, command for your use case and uh, start working like i mean aws cli okay i i hope you found this video helpful and let me know if you have any questions uh, like or difficulties that you face when you are running aws cli commands i'll try and answer those comments thank you and i'll see you in the next video